Hey guys. Um, this is until death do a spark episode eighteen. I lick collapse. My heart start beating. When I so wait, my heart completely stopped beating. What's that? Um, his white t-shirt was torn up, smeared with blood. Oh God, what happened tonight? Go ahead, Valen Valley. Run, girl. Valentina, I don't think you should be here. I ignore Simus's warning and kneel down next to Alex. Now that I'm closer, I can see the extent of his injuries. He has deep knife wounds running through his biceps, chest, and back. Damn, Alex. I put Alex's hand into my lap and gently head into my lap and gently stroke his thick black hair. His skin is cold and pale and his eyes are closed in a, a eerie, peaceful way. God, he, he was losing so much blood. I'm here, Alex. I'm here. I kiss the top of Alex's forehead and cradle his head in my arms. Stay with me, baby. Please, I need you. <laughs> you promised me, remember? Aww. Then I'm gonna need you to move so I can assist. So I can assist too, Mr. Callahan's wounds. I reluctantly get up and move out the way of the doctor. Where it move out. Oh, sorry, you guys. I move out of the doctor's way so she can help Alex. Why aren't you taking him to the hospital? It's too risky. We don't need people asking questions as to why Alex. Alexandra Callahan has a knife wounds all over his body. This doctor is, oh, this is Dr. Uh, Nolan. She works as the uh, Callahan's family personal doctor. It looks like he was hit in the back of the head by a blunt object. Um, and stabbed multiple times in the back, bicep, shoulder, and just obviously, bitch. We can see that, girl. Luckily, it looks like no major organs were uh, damaged from the stab wounds. Thank God. He's definitely lost a significant amount of blood, at least four pints. And by the look of it, if we don't do something, now he's going to bleed out. A blood transfusion is the only... Uh, all right, damn, excuse me. Um... Blood transfusion is intended on your son's survival, Mr. Callahan. I know your family is against going to the hospital, but we need to get Alex a blood transfusion ASAP. No, we're not going to the hospital. Why the hell not? He needs it. Miss Nolan, will you please excuse us for a second? Yeah, walk back, Valley. Cuss his ass out, Valley. Valentina, this isn't up for debate. We're not taking Alex to the hospital. He needs blood. Where where would you get blood? The hospital. We can't go. With the amount of injuries on Alex's body, the staff at the hospital wouldn't hesitate to call the cops. And dealing with the police is the last thing on my mind right now. But I know you're worried about my son, but you got to trust me on this. I'll find a way to get him what he needs. I always find a way. We're not going to the hospital. We'll find a way to do the transfusion here. Mr. Callahan. I won't repeat myself, doctor. I can perform the transfusion, but you'll need to provide the blood. Uh, Mr. Callahan, if you don't get someone to donate blood to Alex in the next 30 minutes, your son will die. I understand. D die? Valentina. Did she, what, 24 hours earlier. Oh, fuck. I hate shit like this. Ooh, fucking hate shit like this. Got good. Ugh. Knocking. Knocking somewhere. Alex, someone's at the door. Mm hmm. Ignore it. <laughs> Alex, we need to answer the door. No, we shouldn't. Valentina, I wanted to ask you about. Oh my god. <laughs> Rosalind, what are you doing here? Why didn't you knock? I did knock, you asshole, three times. You're too busy trying to get into my sister's pants. 
Uh, what are you doing here, Rosa? I need to talk to you. Alone. You can say whatever you wanted to say to her in front of me. No, I can't. Oh, excuse me. So you need to get your ass out of here so I can talk to my sister. No thanks. My house, my rules. Alex, please. It's only it only be five minutes for five minutes. I'm giving you five minutes before I come in, with or without your permission. Jeez, he's difficult. What do you want, Rosalind? Well, the thing is, a while ago, Fidel and I found a box of green contacts in the room where you were attacked in. Green contacts with the, ma the masked man drop. Fidel said he was going to tell Alex about it. But judging by the conversation I had with Alex yesterday, it looked like he never did. Do you think um, Fidel might be working for the Russians? Could Fidel be working for be working with the Russians? Could Fidel be the masked man? No. Oh shit, he could be. Confidel, be. I don't know, y'all. I'm just gonna say now. I don't think so, Rosa. Fidel has been loyal to the Callahan family for years. He has no reason to betray Alex. I hope you're right about that. Why? Why are you even asking if Fidel is working with the Russians? I thought you liked him. I don't like him. Bullshit. You're blushing as we speak. I just want to make sure our family is safe. I don't want anyone to betray our family. I can talk to Fidel and see why he didn't tell Alex about the green contact. Is there anything else you want to say? Did you have sex with Alex? You have, haven't you? Actually, I didn't. We've just been doing other stuff. <laughs> other stuff? Yeah. Why well, haven't you slept with him yet? I don't know. I, I guess I'm not ready yet. Are you scared it's going to hurt? I've heard Alex is really, really big. <laughs> Rosalind. <laughs> I'm not discussing my husband's... Ugh, I hate that word, dick. I hate the word dick. Penis with you. I'm not... I'm just not ready as... It's as simple as that. Guys like Alex don't wait around for girls like you, Valentina. If you're not giving him what what you want, what he wants, Alex is going to go find someone else to do it. And there are plenty of girls who would love to satisfy his needs. Alex is different. He wouldn't do that. I thought the same thing, Valentina, and look where that got me. Jay is getting, I think, I'm supposed to say late or some shit like that. I don't know. It, like, legit, this shit just stop. So, what the hell? Okay. I don't want to get in trouble. Please, baby. Okay. Excuse me for a second. Alex, wait, I mean, my out, Alex. Jay grabs Rosalind's arm in the painful grip and starts to drag her out of the room. Dang, bitch. What the fuck have I told you about interrupting me when I'm talking to someone? I, I, I forgot. I'm sorry. Bitch, oh, hell no. Nah. Get up. Oh, girl, apologize. She just, I, I'm sorry, baby. I'm so sorry. That's more like it. <laughs> Do you know who the girl I was talking to upstairs is? No, no I don't. Bitch, please. I, look, her name is Candy. She's very, she's a very attracted to me. Who gives a fuck? Are you going to sleep with her? I'm not going to sleep with her. You're not? I was on the entire field with the joy. Did this mean Jay was going to stop seeing sleeping with other women? He finally is going to commit to her? Hell no. He finally loved her the way she loved him. I'm not going to sleep with her, but I am going to sleep with you. What? And with eight, 
and with eight words, eight little words, Rosalind's heart dropped to her stomach. But, but I've never slept with anyone yet. I know that, and I think I'm. it's fucking ridiculous. <laughs> You're 17, Rosalind. You shouldn't be a virgin anymore. What type of shit is that? I don't want to do this, Jay. I'm not ready, please. You always say you're not ready. This is why I go out and fuck other women. It's your fault I cheat on you. Let me pause. For every girl that's watching this, dudes like him do not have sex with them. Like, it, if a dude really wants to be with you, he'll wait. I don't give a crap what nobody says. Like, no. Don't fuck with fuck boys. Anyway, we've only been together for three weeks, Jay. And three weeks? Oh, hell no. Are you talking back, Rosalind? No, no, of course not. Good, because you know how I feel about being talked back to. Girl, I, let me tell you. I'm about to stop commenting on this shit because I don't. Don't be nervous, Rosalind. I wanted you for so long. Bitch, you, uh, these naked pictures I took of you ain't cutting anymore. You you have naked pictures of me? <laughs> Bitch. Oh, queen, just keep going. Yes, I do. You're mine, Rosalind, and your body is mine. Rosalind feels so violated. So she feels so fucking disgusted. How could he do this to her? Why are you asking me to do this? I'm not asking you, Rosalind. I'm telling you. Oh, bitch, you ain't telling me shit, girl. Oh. I don't want mommy and daddy to get these pictures. Wait, do you want you don't want mommy and daddy to get these pictures I have of you, do you? Bitch, please, Jay, don't do this to me. Bitch. Oh, bitch. I would have had to kill him. I'm sorry. Stop fucking pleading with me, Russell. It's annoying. Don't worry, baby. I'll make you feel so good. Girl, bah. Her silly ass did it. Rosalind completely checked out. I know that she does this a lot, mostly when Jay is brought up. It's like she's transported back to the terrible time when Jay dominated her life. Um, the time where she was completely lost herself. He's not Jay Rosalind, Alex isn't Jay. Just don't trust him with your heart, Valentina. It's the worst mistake you could ever make. Studio now. Mm, okay. Bossy, aren't we? What's the matter? Natasha wants me in the studio. Want me to come with you? So you can drool over all the models? No, thank you. There's only one model I'll drool over, Valentina. <laughs> it's okay, Alex. I can go alone. Plus, you need to prepare for tonight. I almost forgot what was happening tonight. Alex is going to stage a sneak attack on the Russians. God, I was nervous about it. Not only was my husband going, but my brother, my father, and Fidel too. Something felt off about this sneak attack. Like something bad was going to happen. What's the matter, uh, Mogra? Nothing. Don't lie, Val. I can tell by your facial expression that something is bothering you. I, It just... I feel... I feel like something bad is going to happen tonight. I've got a bad feeling about this attack, Alex. I have a bad feeling something horrible might happen to you. Bitch, your feelings is on, Valentina. Hmm? Look at me. Alex cups my cheeks in between his hands. And he pulls my head up to meet his eyes. I gaze into his bright emerald, green, well, emerald eyes filled with honesty and determination I promise you that I will come home to you tonight not even God himself can stop me from coming home to my wife alright now Alex yeah, I think you've taken it a bit too fucking far now sir <laughs> don't be worried about me baby I got a lot to live for now that I have you in my life does he really mean that could Alex actually care for me that way I care for him or the way I care for him I stare deeply in, into. I stare deeply into a beautiful face. Okay, looking for something to tell me whether he was joking or not. And when I found his green eyes reflecting nothing 
but genuine honesty and desire. I, I knew he meant what he said. My heart danced with joy in my chest. He really does care about me. I'll see you later, my girl. I should change now. I should get me a goddamn. Oh, uh, let's see. It's sexy. Oh, that's cute. I think I'm going to go with the sexy look, y'all. Let's no, see. This is just plain, plain change. Try something else. And let's see what sophisticated is looking like. Oh, you know what? We're going to go with sophisticated. We look good. Yay. Fidel is stinking ass. Fidel. Valentina, is everything all right? You look like you, uh, like, wait, you look kind of lost in your thoughts. Are you all right? I have a lot on my mind. Uh, ask bluntly, bitch. Fidel, why didn't you tell Alex about the green contact? Damn, that was blunt. Yeah, bitch. I like to get straight to the point, girl. So why didn't you tell Alex? I didn't tell him because of you. Me? Why me? Valentina, I know, uh, I know about the masked man who's been attacking you. And I know you haven't told Alex about it. When I found the green t contacts, I went through the security the security footage from the night you were attacked. I saw the guy in the black raven mask walk in and still a safe. I went through the other security tapes and saw you've been targeted by the, that man for quite some time. I knew immediately that you didn't tell Alex about him because Alex would have killed me for not protecting you. Why didn't you tell anyone, anyone you were being targeted, Val? I don't know. I, I didn't want to stress anyone out. Val, this is, it's my job to stress out about you. It's never, it, this never would have happened if I, if it weren't for me. I should have been protecting you, Valentina. I'm sorry. It wasn't your fault, Fidel. Don't blame yourself. It was my decision not to tell anyone. Plus, you're too busy drooling over my sister. Is she uh, the one that told you about the green contact? Yeah, she was worried that that I was a mo. Yeah, hell yeah, bitch. Do you uh do you guys think I was betraying Alex working with the Russians? Fidel. Are you afraid of me? Do you think I would intentionally hurt you? Of course not. I knew you'd never hurt me, Fidel. Rosalind and I have tr issues trusting people. I'm sorry. I know you're loyal to Alex to me. I suppose you're going to tell Alex about the masked man now. I won't tell Alex, but I think you should. I have to go to the studio now. I'm coming with you. Well, I'll come with you. Fidel, I, I don't really need you to. I have to come with you, Valentina. It's my job. Plus, I've been a really shitty bodyguard lately. Again, you're too busy drooling over my sister. Okay, I get it. <laughs> What's going on with you and my sister? Anywho. Nothing. Funny, Rosalind uh, reacted the same, the exact same way. The same exact way. I doubt that considering she thinks I'm working for the Russians. Look, Fidel, don't get me, don't get mad at Rosa. She's just really bad. She, she just has really bad trust issues due to her past experiences. Let's just get you to the studio, okay? He's upset. I should have never assumed Fidel was working for the Russians. No, I didn't, bitch. What are you talking about? I guess I should go to the studio now. What the fuck are you talking about, bitch? I said he didn't do it. What the fuck? Ralphie. Hey, Ralphie. Don't call me that. You've been telling me that all my life, Ralphie. You should know by now I'm never going to stop. Where are you going? To the studio. Will Cleo be there? Most likely, great outcome with. No way, Jose. Why not? 
Because I don't want you embarrassing me in front of my coworkers. How will I embarrass you by flirting with all of the model friends? With all of my model friends. I don't flirt with all of your model friends. I only want to flirt with the girls. Of course. Goodbye, Raphael. Wait, Val, please let me go. Why are you so adamant to come? To flirt with sexy models? No. I want to protect my baby sister. Bullshit. To spy on you and tell Alex what a hoe you've been at work. Rafi, tell the truth. Fine. I want to see Cleo. Oh, so that's why. Are you going to let me come now? No. Then leave me. <laughs> then you leave me no choice. Mama. <laughs> Raphael, why are you calling Mama? Mama would force you to to take me. Just watch. I doubt that. What is it, Raphael? Well, Rafi. Yeah, Rafi, what is it? It's Valentina. She's not seeing reason. <laughs> I just want to make sure my baby sister is safe at work. But she's refusing my help. I just don't want Valentina to get hurt. I... <laughs> I would, I would tear me apart if something bad happened to her. You liar. Mama, he just wants to go and flirt with my friends. That's not true, Mama. Don't you want me to make sure Valentina isn't doing anything promiscuous during work? Mama, I do. I don't. Wait, I don't. Wait, I do no such thing. That would, that, wait, would that, would it be that bad if your brother came with you to the studio, Valentina? Hmm, yes, he's been trying to get into all of my friends' pants. I already told you I only want to get in one of your friends' pants, not all of them. You are not getting with my best friend, Raphael. I can do whatever the hell I want, Valentina. Oh, you fucking, you're a fucking narcissist, you know that? He is. Not my fault mama said I should tag along. Um, I'm gonna go change. Very good, Cleopatra. Keep on going. Damn. Does someone have a little crush? Fidel, your ass is want to talk. It's not as bad as the crush you have on my sister. All right. Uh, not so smug now, are we? Hey, Raphael. Uh, how are you, Raphael? Sorry. Uh, what did you say? I asked, how are you? Better now that I'm here with you. All right, laugh at his ass, Cleo. You need to work on your pickup line, honey. Five percent, y'all. Holy shit, this is the first time a pickup line didn't work on a girl. I don't know if I'm offended or turned on. Wait a sec, I'm definitely turned on. Cleo, wait up. Okay, hold on. Let me get my charger going. <sighs> Here go Bianca, bitch ass. I'm really not in the mood to deal with Bianca today. I just don't get why Natasha wants that ugly bitch Valentina to be in front today. You've had many opportunities to be in front of Bianca. It's Valentina's turn. So people shouldn't be subjected to her disgusting face. She's not ugly, Bianca. You're just mad she's married the guy. She married the guy you like. Sh shut up, Clarice. You don't know. <laughs> you don't know anything. I mean, look at her. Her boobs are tiny, and her. Hey. And her ass is practically non-existent. <laughs> if I were Alex, I would drop that Italian slut and find a woman with a real body. Um, speak of the devil. We are just talking about you, Valentina. 
I heard everything. I know I heard everything. Good, uh, good for you. Now you know how I feel. Bitch, tell her how you really feel. Great. Now let me tell you, bitch, how I really feel. I've always known you hated me, Bianca. And quite frankly, I could give two fucks, honey. You're so irrelevant in my life. In Alex's life. It's a way I... Wait, no. I think it's said it's comical. I don't know. Uh, well, actually, now that I think about it, you do have a fixture in your in our lives. You're oh wait, you're that pain in our ass that just won't go away. I've said this multiple times, Bianca, but it seems that you're too stupid to remember. Alex is my husband. He wants me. He's loyal to me. So get that fantasy that Alex will ever leave me for a whore like you out of your deluded mind. Do you understand, Bichanka? Oh, and by the way, I might be an Italian slut and you might think my ass and boobs are small, but at least they're not. At least they're not what? See, it's Oh, fake like yours, bitch. Hey, turn up on the hill. Hey, Clarice, do you um know where my outfit is for today? Yeah, it's on the hanger and stand. Thanks. Bitch. See, I told you she was a bitch. You were a bitch first. Shut the hell up, Clarice. Everything okay? Yeah, no. I don't know. I'm just so stressed out. What's stressing you out? I I couldn't tell Cleo about all the things that were making me nervous. She doesn't know that I'm um that I'm a part of a mafia family. She probably doesn't know mafia family still exists. What should I say? Be elusive. Well, it's just Alex has some important business to take care of tonight and I'm nervous for him. Well, whatever it is, I'm sure Alex is fully capable of doing his job. He'll be fine. Don't worry about him. I guess you're right, honey. I'm always right. So, you and my brother, huh? Oh, Cleo, you're blushing. I'm black, Valentina. I don't blush. Hey. <laughs> Well, if you could blush, you know you'd be blushing right now. No, no. Oh, it's my baby. Uh, so, what is going on between you two? He seems quite smitten with you. I know, I've noticed. And I've also noticed him flirting with basically every model in this facility. That's that's my brother for you. I like your brother. I don't, wait, I like your brother. Don't get me wrong. It's just, I want to be with a guy that only notices me. That notices only me. Not every single girl in the freaking planet. Right? Your brother's a thought. A thitty bop thought. Um, I can talk to him for you if you want. No, please don't. Besides, he already asked me out on a date. On a date. Did he? What do you say? What do you think? Oh boy, what did he do? Oh my gosh, you scared the life out of me. Sorry about that. What can I do for you? <laughs> you could do a lot of things for me, baby. Boy, get your ass. Is there something that you need? I need you to go on a date with me. What? A date? Do you know what a date is? Oh, bitch. Uh, well, I'm aware of what a date is. I've been on plenty. What? With who? My, my... Wait, my my, is someone getting jealous? Huh, as if. Damn it, she noticed how jealous I got. I need to play hard to get and act like I don't care. Look, if I if you don't want to go, there are plenty of other girls who would kill to go on a date with me. Then why aren't you? <laughs> then why are you there begging? Why are you here begging for a date with me? I'm not begging you. I just bother. 
I'm just bored and looking for a way to kill the time this week. Oh, bitch, okay. Well, you better find some other girls to help with you, help you with your boredom. Because I never go on a date with a self-centered jerk like you. Dumbass. Please tell me my brother didn't actually say that. Believe me, I was just as shocked as you were. I should have a word with him. Please don't. I guess he's not as nice as I thought he was. I'm sorry my brother is such an ass hat. It's okay, Val. Let's just get ready for the fashion shoot. Girl, you look so amazing. You think? Hey, you look like a sexy dark angel. Look at my I'm turned up. Everybody else looking all plain Jane, bitch. Hey. Alex is going to shit his pants once he sees this issue. Cleo, come on, let's go. Now he's going to shit his fucking pants. And now she just walked out her own goddamn body. Come on, girls. <laughs> Make it look sexy. She just walked out her own goddamn body, bitch, in the outfit she came in with. Like, Stupid bitch. That's all I need, ladies. You make up. Thank God. Valentina. Oh, uh, Le Levi. Levi looked uncomfortable and anxious. His eyes were ringed with dark circles and his hair was messy from running his fingers through multiple times. You look... Nervous? Is everything okay? Um, yeah. Yeah, everything's fine. Why would you ask? I don't know. You just seem off. Everything's fine, Valentina. If you say so. So, so, what are you doing this evening? I don't know. I'll probably watch a movie or something. So, you're not doing anything with Alex this evening? No, not that that's any of your business. What my husband and I do is none of your concern. Thank God she's not going to be around during the attack. Yeah, I know that. Just stay safe, Valentina. Promise me you'll stay safe. Uh, I promise. Thank you. That was a weird conversation. Yeah, I got too much. I'm already stressing out about. I was stressing about. Okay, yeah, shit. <laughs> Alex looked intimidating and sexy in his black suit. I've never. I've seen Alex in a in a suit on a couple of occasions but this uh, by far was my favorite outfit wow i see oh, wait see something you like my girl? yeah bitch i'm glad you uh, i turned you on this much uh you don't turn me on are you sure because events from the past few nights would suggest otherwise Sh shut up kellyanne make me I've been dying to hear those words from Alex. I've been practicing with Yana a lot. And she taught me ways to knock people off their feet. Even guys as strong as Alex. I walked over to Alex seductively. Seductively. I don't know why I can't even seduct. Seductively. There we go. And wrapped my arms around his neck. His strong arms instinct instinctively wrapped around my waist and pulled me closer to his body. I lift my head up and bring my lips close to his. Alex lowers his head down to, to mine, trying to kiss me. I smirk against his lips and quickly sweep my feet under his, <laughs> knocking him to the ground. Alex stares at me with the dumbfounded. <laughs> with a dumbfounded and surprised look on his face. Need help getting up, Mr. Gallant? <laughs> Suddenly, my legs are swept off the floor, and I'm lying on the ground with a, a grinning Alex on top of me. How are you supposed to help me when you're on the floor, too? Hmm, <laughs> asshole. <laughs> Alex laughs at my mock annoyance and then nuzzles his face into my neck. He starts to flint soft feather like kisses down my neck, and I laugh out loud from the sensation. Stop that tickle. Alex ignores my pleas and continues to kiss my neck. Alex, yes, Francis. If you don't stop, I'm going to kick you in your balls and kill our future kids. What about. Oh, girl, I hate that fucking name, child. Oh, my God. How many times do I have to tell you we're not naming our son 
Carrion or so, whatever the fuck that shit say. That shit is a great name. I beg to differ, girl. Um, since you're insulting my name naming skills, I guess I won't uh, give you the gift I got you today. What what gift? I want a gift. If you want it, you gotta say. Uh, Kieran, Kieran is a great name. I would know such thing. Then no gift for you. Fine, I'll do it. <laughs> what was that? I couldn't hear, quite hear. You. I said Kieran is a great name. A little louder for the people in the back. Oh my God, Kieran is a great name. Okay, now give me my gift, bitch. Alex places a small uh, black velvet box in my hand. Alex, what is this? Open it, my girl. I slowly open uh, open up the black box. Inside is the most beautiful piece of jewelry I've ever laid eyes on. It's a simple yet elegant sterling silver bracelet surrounded by diamonds and sapphires. Alex. Alex, one of you. I never really wait for Valentina to say something, but she's completely Speechless shit. What if she doesn't like the bracelet? I don't know why I got the bracelet in the first place. I just saw how sapphires perfectly match her eyes, and I knew I would be a dumbass not to buy it for her. I wanted to make her happy. I wanted to see her smile. God, I love seeing her smile. Shit, she probably doesn't like it. I can take it back if you don't like it. It's really not a big deal. Don't you dare. Thank you so much for my gift, Alex. I love it. Anything for you, my God. Oh, my God. Damn, I was whipped. Uh -huh. It felt so good to have Val in my arms. Her head tucked deeply on my chest and under my arms. I never wanted to let her go. Alex is time. Bitch, you need to give me an Irish man, child. Hell. Maybe I have to go. Oh, I hate seeing her so upset. Hey, don't be nervous for me. I'll be fine, okay? Alex, you don't know that. Of course I do. I'm Alex Callahan. I know everything. Okay, girl. Remember what I promised you this morning. I will be coming back to him. There's nothing on this world that could stop me from coming home to my wife. It's a couple bullets, bitch. Yeah. Alex, I don't know what the hell. Let's go, okay? Yep. Yeah. Um, I'll see you later, my girl. Alex. Child needs to find me a goddamn Irish man, honey. Um, takes about an hour to uh get to the Russian compound, even though I'm not showing it. I'm fucking nervous. Questions of doubt and anxiety swarm in my head. Did we bring enough men? Will we ever the take Nikolai? Um, what if the plan fails? Bitch, this is, bitch, this is long, girl. This is fucking 40 minutes, child. Fidel, you'll be standing guard and watching if anyone comes in. My father quickly goes over to the game, over the game plan. I'm supposed to sneak in to Nikolai's office and use silencer to shoot him in the head. My father, um, Rocco, and uh, Raphael all set out to find any important files the Russians may have stored here that left me alone to kill Nikolai. This outfit is, yes, yeah, life, honey. Loving it. What the fuck? Shit, I think I'm lost. What is this place? This room is old and dirty, yet there are signs that someone's been living here. Toy cars, Legos, litter the floor. Mommy, can we please have mac and cheese? <laughs> yes, mommy, let's have mac and cheese. Uh, it's I'm not making. I'm not making you mac and cheese, and don't call me mommy. It's weird. What the fuck? Oh uh, wait, Fatima. I hope you like your character. Back to the story. Why can't I have mac and cheese? Because you ate all of the uh, 
Axel's mac and cheese. So I'm saving the last box for him. You ate all okay, bitch. Auntie uh, Fatima. Of course not, sweetie. Your mo your mother is just a compulsive liar. God damn. This is Sophia. I'm still I'm still not making you mac and cheese, Fatima. You're so wait. So you're just gonna let me starve? You ate dinner less than thirty minutes ago. I still can be hungry. You're always hungry, and what? And that's why you're gonna make mac and cheese for your big your best friend, right? Fine. Yay, mac and cheese is the shit. Mac and cheese. <laughs> I mean, mac and cheese is the shit. Shizzle. <laughs> Auntie Fatima, what's shit, girl? Yeah, Fatima, what's shit? Um, mommy, who's that man? And why? Who are you, girl? I'm sorry. Sophia Vega? <laughs> Alex, you need to get out of here before. Sophia eyes filled with fear as she stared at something behind me. Before what, Sophia? Bitch. Oh, suddenly I felt something hit the back of my head hard. Pain radiates all over my head. I feel, I can feel blood trickling down the back of my head to my neck. I think she was warning you about me. My vision starts to blur. Okay, bitch. Not they had a baby. And then everything turns black. Bitch, I don't got the time. That was stressful, y'all. All right. Hope y'all guys enjoyed.